my favorite thing is this morning we just did the, the keynote and being able to finally see everybody as you're actually doing the presentation was such a big change. Because for two years now I've been doing keynotes staring at the wall in my, my bedroom or in my basement and not being able to see people react and paying attention. And it gives you so much more energy and just makes it so much easier to tell a great story, to see the crowd and the people and everybody being uh, so involved and engaged. The, the biggest thing I would say is you build microservices, you build APIs for them to be used, right? And one of the best ways to go use these things these days is in addition to professional development clients, have low-code clients. Have your Power App go connect to your Azure API management instance. Have your Power Automate workflow go connect through or use Power BI to connect to Azure Synapse for your, your data warehouse. And that ability to keep reusing and re-leveraging investments you've already made in APIs and microservices is how you can get the best return and go respond to really this unprecedented digital demand that every single company is going through right now. Just like you can use the microservices and reuse and recycle those through your Power Platform solution, same thing's true for your data. Whether it's Power Automate, scraping from a legacy application or a web-based application, or even just ingesting using data flows, things from Excel or an Access database or even a Lotus Notes database if you have any oh of those God. floating around, which customers, believe it or not, do. Okay. Um, okay. You can go kind of bring them to the future and almost put like a mini API on top of it and a mini adapter so you can start to leverage it in your solutions. And, the reality is no company gets to start from scratch. I mean, maybe in the very, if you're a startup or something, but if a company's been around for 10, 20, 30 years, there's a lot of this legacy stuff floating around. Power Platform makes it easy to connect and use all those artifacts and assets. One of my favorite things about Power Apps is that it makes it so everybody can be a developer. And I really mean everybody. If you can use PowerPoint and Excel, you can build a simple Power App. And I think every small business has the Excel spreadsheet or the clipboard and pen and paper that they use to go track simple processes. You can build a three, four, five screen power app in no time. Yeah. And it, it may, like the first 15 minutes, it might feel like a lot, but by an, an hour or two goes by, you'll feel really at home um, if you use any of the office products. So that's the idea is every single place and every single part of our economy and our world needs to be digitized. And you're only going to be able to do it by empowering everybody in the world to be a developer and go build that out, whether it's a small, medium business, all the way up to the big enterprise.